Okay, for this one, we're going to be in a drop D tuning. So we take the low E, drop it down a whole step to D, and we'll end up with D, A, D, G, B, E. And this initial uh, guitar part, it's this real just back and forth between like a D, G string, maybe a little B, G string, but it's just this constant alternate picking thing. Um, we'll start here by just doing kind of like an initial like intro buffer amount with this uh, 7 on the D and the 5G. And we just go 5G, 7D, just crank that out, you know, four times, and then do like four sets of that. Okay, kind of clean thing. You put some uh, good amount of reverb on there, it'd be cool. Um, but we just do that to start the intro there. And once the verse gets going, um, here's kind of where we start our loop. Uh, we'll continue with that, uh, five to seven like that, but just do about two, two uh, pairs of like the four kind of, okay, that'd be one, and just do that twice. All right, and then the next spot, we just kind of bar sevens on the D and G, and just keep that going the same way, but we only do like one set of four there. Then right back to the five and seven for, you know, a uh, couple measures. All right. And then we drop to a new spot where we go between five B to five G. Okay, just back and forth four times like that. Then we go to our sevens on the G and D, do that four times. All right, repeat it once more. So eight together. And then from there, we kind of go back to the beginning of our loop, all right, the five to sevens twice, then the sevens, go back to the five and sevens, do the fives, back to the sevens, and just kind of continue that loop there. Um, eventually we get the, the bass com that comes in. Um, I kind of like to play that riff, it's a, a cool riff, so, uh, and we get to make use of this drop D that way. So um, start here by doing three A, Open middle D to two, three low D, three open A, three A to open D, low D. Kind of hold that a moment. Then we go three A, three D, three A to open, three A open low D, and then just finish at the three A to open A. And we just hold that for a bit and then we just start the cycle again um, over the top of that we get this real it, it might be a guitar with just kind of like a vibe effect on it or it could just be like a keyboard thing but uh, we can make it sound pretty cool with guitar um, start here with the 7d and then hit the 5b and you want to give it some a nice heavy vibrato there okay then we move to 5g to 8b and the same thing with that note, the eight. Okay, then five G to five high E. We just hold that for a moment. Then we'll do the five on the E to five B, and then we hold that just a little bit. All right, then we go five G, eight B, and then finish with the five high E to five G. And uh, towards the end there, we get this little break where basically now we get really into like our drop D tuning where we hit, uh, you can put on some overdrive too, um, just hit a big open D power chord, so everything open here. Okay, and there's kind of a, a, a break there with just like vocal and drum. And then we start our outro, our big overdriven outro progression here, where we just land on a big... F power chord, so we do threes on the DAD and a 5G. All right, come off to a big open D minor. So open DAD with the 2G, 3B, 1E. And then to an A minor, so open A, two on the D and G, 1B, open high E. And we hit that, we hold it for a moment, and just before we're done, we hit it once more to get, and get right back to our F. Okay, so. And that kind of like starts the loop there. All right, 
And over the top of that, we get some more cool kind of like vibrato lead. And it comes up real high with this. Uh, we'll start here at the 14 G, then we go 12 high E to 15. Okay, 14 G again, 12 E to 13. All right, and then the last one is 12 G, 12 E to 13, then 13 B. All right, and we just go through those three, just like that. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tableture books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.